Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to if you're new here, welcome. Hi, my name is Holly Boone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this 4B Glam makeup look. Eyes, base, absolutely everything. So if you want to see how I did that, then make sure you keep watching. But before we jump into the video, I just wanted to share something with you all. And this is a product that I have been using since the start of this year and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to share it with you all. Um, and this is the Hair Burst Lash and Brow Enhancer. This is something that I wanted to test over a long period of time and see if it genuinely does work. So I have been using this since the start of the year. If you've seen my previous videos, you would know that I've mentioned this months and months and months and months ago about how I was going to give it a go and then let you guys know how I feel about it. I am someone that has put my lashes through hair and back. I wear strip lashes a lot and I also sometimes wear lash extensions. So I want you to just try and get my lashes as healthy as possible and this product genuinely, genuinely, genuinely works so amazing brows and lashes it just helps if you have brittle lashes or if you've just had your lash extensions taken off and your lashes are a bit weak and they're just feeling a bit just a bit dry and a bit sparse then this product is amazing i incorporate this into my nighttime skincare routine every single night i would say if you want to see results with this product you have to use it every single night for six weeks i would say you'd start to see results within four to six weeks your lashes will feel healthier fuller make sure you apply it right at the root of the lash as well you really want to coat the base of the lash which i put way too much on probably but i'm just obsessed and i always comb this through my brows so yeah it really helps to keep your lashes healthy um just so they're not so sparse and horrible like i recently just had my lash extensions taken off i've been using this product constantly because I just really need to get my lashes back healthy and it really does work. It really, really, really does work. So if you want to get this product or anything on the Hair Burst website, then make sure you use my code, which is hollyb 20 and you get 20% off everything. Also, another thing I love about this product is it is made from 98% natural ingredient, which I absolutely love and it is fragrant fragrance free and cruelty free um i personally prefer anything that i'm using in my skincare routine to be fragrance free because i do have slightly sensitive skin so yeah if you have brittle thin lashes like me and you want to just make them fuller and less brittle and just revive them and revive your brows then definitely give it a go anyway if you want to see how i did this full beat makeup look then keep watching i'm going to start with my eye makeup I, I'm going to do my eyebrows last because I want to keep them quite natural for this look. Just quite feathered, I'm going to put hardly any product in. So I'm just going to apply some of the Tarte Shape Tape in this shade, like medium sand, all over my lid. And then I'm just going to take this brush from Doll Beauty. This is the DBA brush. And I'm just going to buff this underneath the brow. I prefer to use this kind of brush because it really softens under the brow and just doesn't make it look too sharp and then i'm just going to take my beauty blender and just press the rest of the product in i'm going to use my sigma precision tapered p86 brush just to set my lids with a little bit of powder i'm using the hmb cosmetics soft focus loose powder in the shade translucent okay so now we can get on to eyeshadow so i want this to be a really soft glam look um don't really know what i'm gonna do but i'm just gonna kind of go with how i feel so let's just have a play around and see what happens for my eyeshadow i'm gonna use the makeup by mario palette this is the master matte absolutely love this so i'm gonna just pick up some products on this neutral shade right here this is matte number one and I'm using the Doll Beauty, this is the DB5 brush. It's a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna buff this shadow above my crease. I'm gonna start off really light and then I'm just gonna build it up. But I'm also gonna bring it right into the inner corner right here. And up towards the brow. I really like to blend shadow right here because I feel like it really gives me a defined nose. Like when I do my nose contour, it just makes everything look way more snatched and I am going to go for a winged look so I'm going to make sure I pull the shadow right out. I'm just doing a little bit at a time because I want to keep it quite soft and that way it's just going to be easier to blend, just keep it really nice and blended and seamless. Okay so I think I'm going to go for a smoky wing 
um, with this look. I really want to do something, but I'm going to do like a brown wing so it's not as harsh. This is what I've been doing sometimes at the moment and I've been using lip liner to do this. So I'm going to use the Doll Beauty lip liner. This is in the shade Killing It. It's a really deep brown and I just love this because it blends really nice and it's it's not too... I, I sometimes prefer using lip liners as eyeliner which sounds crazy. Make sure it's eye safe before you do that. Um, but I just find that it it's a bit softer and it's not too intense. So anyway, I'm going to just apply it quite messy. It doesn't need to be neat because I'm going to smoke it out anyway. But I'm going to wing my liner. So just dragging it out. And then you just want to pull just a little bit. Enough to be crazy, but it will just help you get it really kind of straight. Then I'm going to use the Doll Beauty. This is the um, DB14 brush. It's a really small flat brush with a flat edge. And I'm going to use the shade Matte 7. So I'm just going to literally press over that with that shade. I'm then going to use an even smaller brush. This is the Doll Beauty DB15 brush, which is even smaller. And I'm going to use the shade Matte 5. And I'm then going to just go just above the liner, backwards and forwards, just lightly. I'm going to pull it upwards as well. And then I am bringing the shadow, the lighter shadow that I'm using, just to the inner corner there. I'm then going to, just with the little bit of excess that is on the brush, I'm just going to go up into the crease here and just define my crease a bit more and kind of connect it on the outer corner just here. I'm going to go back to the lip liner that I use as eyeliner from Doll Beauty and I'm going to go back in with this, keeping it close to the lash line. Just going to darken it a bit more. Because when you go to blend it, you're going to kind of shear it out a little bit, so then you want to go back in. So what I'm doing now is just rebuilding up the, the liner and then going back in with the little blending brush and just softening it just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit just on that edge. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand like this. I'm going to use my Doll Beauty DB11, which is a flat synthetic brush. And I'm just going to define my crease. A little bit. I'm going to wipe off any excess and I'm just going to soften that. Make sure there's not a harsh edge. I'm going to take this shade right here from the palette which is matte 2. I'm using the Morphe M431 brush. And I'm going to press this on the inner corner where I just spread that concealer. And I'm going to bring that around here so yeah, I'm gonna just apply this in the inner corner as well I think I want to just deepen the crease a little bit more so I am gonna take the WEDB 15 brush and I'm gonna go in with the darker shade which is just this one right here and I'm just gonna literally go right in the crease Okay, so that is that eye finished. I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back. I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is my absolute favorite. I love this mascara. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty Lashes in the style of Samantha. These ones give you such a nice cat eye. They're my absolute favorite. I love these. So I'm going to just cut a tiny bit off of the outer corner. I always do this because they're a little bit too long for my eyes. So I just cut the last, I just cut this last little section off of the outer corner. So I like to apply lash glue to the lash band um, and let it just sit for a few seconds to dry down a little bit. And then I also like to apply lash glue to my actual lash line as well. So I use this um, Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive. It's got a little bit of a blue tinge to it. It's really, really good. And then I just use this brush. I like the brush that it has as well. 
and I just dot this just really on the outer corner and the inner corner because that's where I feel like my lashes don't stick the easiest. I always stick the outer corner first and then I stick the inner corner. I really like these, um, la this lash tool from WE. It makes it a lot easier. You want to make sure that you get it as close to your lash line and then just give it a pinch. I always kind of push the outer corner upwards um, using the lash tool just before it fully dries. Um, I keep the inner corner how it is. I don't push the inner corner up, but I always push the, inner, the outer corner just up and out a little bit before it dries. So I've just zoomed you out so we can start on this skin. I'm going to first of all prep my skin. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is amazing, it's honestly my favourite. I go through this so much, I love it. I'm just gonna dot this around. And then I'm just gonna rub this in. I'm then gonna use the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base as well, I love this. I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. So for my foundation recently, I've been using the Fenty Beauty Pro Fill of Soft Matte Foundation. I actually used to, when this first came out, I tried it and I loved it, but it did break me out. But I wanted to just give it another go and I've given it another go and I've been using it for about a week now and it's not given me um, like a full on breakout. This kind of breakout here is more to do with hormones, but it hasn't given me a breakout anywhere else. So I think I'm okay. Fingers crossed. I'm just going to give it a shake. And then I'm just going to pump some of this on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use my Doll Beauty DB11 brush to kind of dot this around the face. I personally prefer a matte finish with the foundation because I am oily. I'm then going to use my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to press this into the skin. I do find that this foundation dries down pretty quickly so you need to work with it pretty fast. For my concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. I'm going to go just here in the centre of the forehead. And straight down the bridge of the nose. I'm going to go on the chin. Round the side of my nose. I like to bring my concealer right up down the sides of the nose. Gives it like a reverse contour effect and it helps disguise any shadows. I'm next going to use the MAC 130 brush, this is a little stipple brush and I'm just going to soften the edges of the concealer. I just like to pull it out, soften the edge and then when I blend in with a beauty blender I just want to press it into the skin. Um, this is just so it doesn't disperse the product too low. I feel like when you push it with a beauty blender, it can sometimes push the product down and I don't want to highlight this area. So I just like to kind of soften the edge with this brush first of all. And I'm going to do the same with the forehead. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to press the rest of the concealer. Just press it in. I also am going to bring my concealer back here just to keep my eye looking nice and lifted. With the nose, I'm just really pinching the sponge and just lightly pressing that in. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of cream contour. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in this shade R530. And I'm using the Zoeva Cream Cheek Brush. I'm just going to do a tiny bit. I just pick up a little bit of the product on the brush and then just buff it into the skin. I'm going to apply it onto my forehead. I prefer doing it this way, if you apply it directly to the skin and then try and blend it out, it's just way harder. I'm just going to go cheekbone and then slightly above the cheekbone. Just want to keep the face looking nice and lifted. And then I'm going to go along the jawline. I'm going to use the exact same product, the HD stick from Makeup Forever. I'm going to use the Zoeva 235 contour, contour shader brush and I'm going to use this to contour my nose. I'm going just down the front. I'm going to stop around here. I was going to blend it up into the brow, but it makes my nose look longer, so I'm not going to do that today. And then I just contour the tip of my nose. This just makes it look a little bit more lifted. 
And then I'm just gonna let that product dry down for a bit before I then blend it out. So whilst I let that dry down for a second, I'm gonna use some cream blush. I have been absolutely loving this. This is from Made by Mitchell and it's called Blush. This is in the shade Peach Sugar. It is such a gorgeous colour. This is the best cream blush I've ever used. I don't normally use cream blush just because I feel like when I go to blend it out, it basically disappears and I feel like what was the point? But this one is just amazing. It's so pigmented. When you blend it out, it just looks still looks amazing. Um, I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to go directly onto the skin. And then I'm going to use the same brush that I just used for the cream bronzer. Um, I'm going to use the 123 cream cheek brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to buff this in. So I'm going to go apples and then I also like to blend it up as well and back. But it's such a gorgeous colour. Formula is amazing. If you've not tried uh, any Made by Mitchell products I highly recommend these uh, cream blushes they're just amazing I also have the shade sweet cheeks this one's really bright pink but this one if you like that Kylie Jenner you know when she has that really bright under eye and that really pink blush if you like that look then definitely get that shade which is called sweet cheeks and then I also have the shade rosy posy which again is a little bit darker than sweet cheeks um, but it still gives you that really pinky blush but this one is my favorite when I'm going for like bronzy kind of skin it's just amazing and then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and go over my concealer but do you see how I blended that in and it just looks amazing like it's honestly amazing I don't even feel like I have to put powder blush on on top because it just that literally is just enough like I love it so now I feel like my nose contour is dried down a little bit. I'm gonna use the 235 contour shader brush again. Um, I've wiped the excess product off this brush so the brush is clean. You wanna make sure the brush is clean because you don't wanna keep applying product. And then I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards over that just to blend that, soften it. I'm next gonna use the H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder in the shade Translucent to set my under eyes. I'm going to just press this under the eyes and down the sides of the nose and then I'm also just going to use this to set the whole face especially my forehead because I get so oily on my forehead it's not even okay bronzer I'm going to use the H&B Cosmetics bronzer in the shade medium golden this is my favourite shade it's so just warm and just amazing it's so pigmented, you only need to tap your brush in it. And I'm just going to apply this to my forehead. See that really nice, warm, bronzy look. It's just everything. I love it. I'm going to apply this on the cheeks. So I just want to have a little bit of that blush on the end of my nose. So just with this brush, I'm just going to literally just go back because I was over the tip of my nose. I'm just going to bake down the size of my nose using the Soft Focus Loose Powder. I just want to bake there for a bit so I can just snatch, extra snatch my nose. Okay, so whilst I leave my nose to bake, I'm going to finish off my eyes. So for my waterline, I'm going to use the Doll Beauty Lip Liner. Again, it's eyeliner, but I'm going to use the shade Diva Forever instead. This one's just slightly more warm, but I really want to use it in my bottom uh, waterline because it'll make my brown eyes pop. So I'm going to just apply this in my waterline. And then I'm bringing it down slightly as well, just so I can buff and blend in just a second. So yeah, this one's more of a warm shade. I'm then going to take the... Doll Beauty DB14 brush and I'm using the Master Mario palette again. I'm using shade Matte 5. And I'm gonna buff this underneath the lash line. And then I'm gonna take the Doll Beauty, this is the DB8 brush. I'm gonna take the neutral shade that I used in the crease, first of all, which is Matte 1. And I'm just gonna press that. I'm just gonna highlight. So for bottom mascara, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic. 
So I'm still gonna just let my nose bake. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> I'm gonna just wipe the excess product out of my brows using a makeup wipe. What I do is I just pinch the makeup wipe, I wrap it around my finger like this, and then I just go through the brows. Go through the brow hair. Cause I end up getting a lot of powder fall out in my brows. So I'm gonna first apply some of the um, Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setup through the brows. I'm just gonna fluff them outwards. Upwards and outwards. Isn't it annoying when you just have one good brow and one really bad one? I hate that, it's so annoying. So then whilst I let that brow gel dry, I'm just gonna dust off this excess powder off my nose. So I'm just gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury brush and just brush that off. Okay, I'm just gonna let my brows dry. I'm gonna do my lips. So I'm gonna use Doll Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Diva Forever that I just used in my waterline, but obviously I'm gonna sharpen it so it's fresh and it's clean. It's not just been on my eyeball. <laughs> so I'm gonna just, I'm just applying the lip liner and then just softening it with my finger. And then I'm gonna do a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna do HEB Cosmetics matte liquid lipstick in the shade Obsessed. I'm just gonna pat this in. So for my brows, I'm going to use the Refi Brow Pencil. This is a beauty brand by Jess Hunt. If you know who Jess Hunt is, then you know her brows are absolutely amazing. So if she's bringing out a brow product, listen, I need it, okay? Um, so I've been using the darkest shade a lot, but I'm going to use the lighter shade. This is the middle shade um, today because I don't want my brows to be as harsh. So I'm just going to use this pencil to kind of fill in sparse areas. Just... I just flick upwards so that it looks like brow strokes. Um, and yeah, just fill in a few sparse areas, but I wanna keep my brows pretty natural. I just extend my brow a little bit at the front as well. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just spray my face with some of the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, I will list all of the products that I use down below in the description box in case you want to get any of them. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.